Hello, welcome in. Can you uh, hear the background audio uh, crackling a little bit? Do you hear those clicks from the audio or is that just me? Yeah, there's, a, there's this tiny little ticking sound coming in on the on the uh, game audio. Hey there, Jolly Jones. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Do you hear it now? Okay, yeah. That is there, it's not my imagination. Just made it louder. going to uh, set a very very high open threshold for this I need to figure out what's going on with this I heard this last stream as well it was just a, I thought it was the cable but uh, I've changed the cable and I've used it on another machine so it's probably being generated by something to check out whether that is happening You sort of, uh, sort of can't hear it uh, unless I uh, raise the volume of the game audio quite a bit, but I can, uh, I can hear it in my headphones. But uh, enough about that. Let's uh, not turn this into a tax stream. We had one last time. That was enough. Game is ready. As usual, I have a little background music going on with this game. It's uh, fairly quiet in the music department, so I like to have something to listen to. Is that a crackling? Yeah, doom and gloom.
I wonder what actually causes this. I can hear it on the speaker on the Amiga as well. But, um, I need to take a look into this. It might actually just be this game. It's not impossible. Now let's see. Where were we and what had we done? We had done quite a bit. Of course, uh, <clears throat> after the hard rock class last stream, I had to uh, go back and redo a lot of stuff. So, uh, I think I've basically uh, gotten us back to the uh, same point we were when we left it last stream. We had only basically completed <clears throat> at best 30 minutes of the stream before we had to give it up. Um, we're definitely lacking. While I was uh, redoing it, however, I discovered one thing that we had not done correctly when we uh, when I picked up the uh, developer fluid using the sponge. I uh, put the sponge in the glass jar, I think. And uh, you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to take the sponge uh, to the developer tray. I noticed when I put the uh, when I put the sponge back in the uh, the the jar, it uh, basically just uh, put the. Okay, this is a fairly challenging game. Uh, we've struggled with it a bit. Uh, I can sort of walk you through what we've done so far. But, uh, no, when you are. Uh, there's a bottle of developer fluid on top of the uh, of the cabinet in the uh, little room that's uh, next to the dining hall. And when you reach up to grab the bottle, it will fall to the floor and uh, break open and the remains of the bottle will go down the grate. And the grate is uh, in the basement, which you can access from the outside. There's a grating outside of the building behind a bush which you can access and uh, it actually took me a while on stream today to figure out why I couldn't just open it and uh, I was also uh, very surprised last time as well when we could suddenly open it and I uh, actually figured out why you need to uh, you need to take Dave up or some of the kids up to the uh, weightlifting room and uh, use the Use the Honkomarik machine in the weight room to gain strength and uh, when you've done that you're able to open the grate. He complains at first when you try to open it that he isn't strong enough. So uh, you need to use the Honkomarik machine to be able to open the grate. And uh, once you've done that and picked up the sponge that's in the bathroom next to the uh, weightlifting stuff, you can uh, you can go out of the basement and you can pick up the developer fluid from the floor using the sponge. And uh, then take it up to the tray. I don't think we did that correctly on the last play. So we were probably uh, we were probably soft locked anyway. So it's uh, perhaps just good that uh, we went through this crash. And we would have had to repeat some of this anyway. Uh, what I want to try now is uh, we have the film. The film is just a. Uh, once you have the sponge, the film appears outside of the building. It's not there when you start, but it, uh, it's on the other, in the other bush to the right of the door. So suddenly it's there. I'm wondering if... Uh... No, that's still the same problem. He doesn't know how to do it, so even though we... Uh... He 
even though we now have the fluid in the tray he still won't develop it let me try giving the film to the kid yeah how do we do that we don't know how Why did he send us down here? Not that it matters. Not that it matters. Okay. So that didn't really change anything. I'm going to just double check that the whether if I open the film whether that changes anything I don't think it will I think that will basically stay the same the developing the film is definitely one of the puzzles we are struggling with a little bit Okay, we're no nearer to the solution to this problem. I think I tried it with all of the kids and uh, I don't think any of them is actually capable of doing this. So that's one potential issue. Oh, uh, one obvious sign that we're not so really supposed to do anything in here is that uh, we can't really use these objects with anything. So even if we can interact with the object, we can't actually do anything with them. There's also one other change I made that uh, we didn't, that we went to did last stream I, uh, when I fed the tentacle. I just gave him the, uh, because uh, if you remember he was standing here, he didn't want us to go past. All he wanted was the uh, waxed fruit that was in the uh, room where the paintbrush and the Edsel are. As well as the, uh, he also wanted the uh, something to drink, and uh, eventually just gave him a, a glass of water. Yeah, this guy, I called him, and we already figured out how to open the outer padlocks, but uh, we have no idea what the combination for the safe is. Now, uh, hey there, Will. Welcome in. Now, uh, Okay, you're not allowed on here. Kyle. 
Thanks for shouting out Will. Hey, well. Go follow Will. He plays Darkest Dungeon and on Fridays he plays a, a horror game. Yeah, yeah. Will is, uh, is quite good at playing the Darkest Dungeon. He's a pretty great streamer as well. You should go give him a follow. Yeah, and to the, straight to the head multiple times. Oh, uh, the last time I did this, I uh, I gave the uh, can of Pepsi to the man-eating plant. Or I might have used it on the man-eating plant and uh, that sort of worked. But uh, I'm curious about this hatch up here. I'm thinking that perhaps this this plant is our key to access this hatch. And, uh, perhaps part of it is uh, using something on the plant because so, uh, oddly we can uh, we can also interact with the with the flower pot Yeah, it is a reference to the Little Shop of Horrors, for sure. The... What worries me a little bit about that is... Uh, and, uh, to... Make the Little Shop of... Uh, make the uh, flower grow. We needed... Uh, it needed blood, so... How do we go about doing that? We can, uh, we can give it the Pepsi that, uh, that I know for sure works. I'm not sure that's actually what we're supposed to do and uh, it will definitely not make the flower, flower grow in any way. Let's uh, do a short walk around the house, see if we can... Uh, Bought anything? One thing I did not do, which uh, might actually come back to hurt us. that I didn't get the uh, stamp from the package before I gave it to uh, our good friend Weird Ed. Let's hope that doesn't come back to hurt us. Oh, 
toying with all the plants in the hope that uh, I can actually uh, get a free pot so I could perhaps just move a different plant there. That's all you can do in this game. Try stupid stuff and uh, hope it works. Sometimes you're right, sometimes you're just out there. And that's just the way it is. Now there's no avoiding breaking this vase here that's on the top of the piano. At least I don't think there is and uh, he doesn't want to pick it up anyway. When you play the, uh, the tentacle mating call radio record to uh, record it on the cassette recorder, it uh, always shatters the ways. I think that's just a... I think that's just a hint for what you should do with a recording. Now you instantly think that uh, you can't interact with any of these items that are all the same, but uh, that is not the case. There's a, one of the portraits in the in one of the rooms is such that you can move it, so you can definitely sometimes interact with objects and sometimes not, so it's not a given. Now, we've stolen the tube from this radio and uh, after playing the tentacle mating calls, breaking the chandelier and uh, finding the key, we've completed that already. There doesn't seem to be anything else in this room either, we've... Uh, I have no idea why that plant is called Chuck the plant. I don't think we can interact with it in any way. I've also fixed the phone using the uh, tools that we found in the trunk of the car in the garage. So now we can use the phone. Although I have no idea who to call. We only have that one number for the intergalactic police. Yeah, it's a it's a gag of some sort. I'm just not sure what it relates to. I don't get the gag. I'm probably not old enough to get the gag. Even though I'm probably old enough for a lot of things. Now, what we can do in the kitchen is, uh, which I've already done, you can boil the uh, water in the jar in the microwave. I haven't... Uh, I haven't tried very destructive things, but I'm going to anyway. It's basically just the jar that he, uh, that he wants to heat up here. Now uh, I wonder about this water faucet handle that I found. There are two faucets here <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay. That's a good story. A character called Chuck. Who's a plant. Now, uh, this looks suspiciously like blood, but uh, it's not. I think it's... I think it's ketchup, actually. This is blood, though. Can I, uh... Can February, March? No, but April, May. You asked for it, Eva. Now the faucet is running, that's a... Uh, use it with the sponge. Turn it off again. The weird glitches with the audio are gone. I have no idea why. Let's see if we use the sponge with the water in it. All the blood. No, it doesn't want to do that either. Maybe he's just being a prude. Let's see if we can get one of the other kids to do it. Give. I'm fairly certain we're supposed to use the, the sponge here with or without the water. Don't see what else we could potentially use. She's the same. How's about Bernard? You can't cover your ears, Eva, when you uh, willingly ask the bot for a bad joke. <laughs> Maybe I should rename the comma to bad joke instead of dad joke. But, uh, but basically do the same. It's a kitchen party here. Okay. Use sponge with water and blood. None of them wants to do that. Okay, we at least can't get this blood off the wall. At least not using any means that I can see.
<laughs> Another weird bit that we haven't found out to how to interact with there's a gravy stain here on the table no i can't pick it up and i can't move it at least i haven't been able to yet maybe if uh maybe if i found something to uh to put it on i might be able to roll it here but, uh, don't think we're actually supposed to be able to interact with this i'm just uh trying out every combination mm -hmm. Here's the pool area. We've already uh, I've already emptied the pool. We finally figured out how to do that. And took the key obviously and the radio and the other radio had a fresh set of batteries in it which i suppose was supposed to use with the with the flashlight which we haven't needed for a bit so sent bernard out here he has the sponge with him Curious whether uh, no, doesn't really do anything. So pretty much completed all there is to do here. Here's the weird car in the garage. There's a, nothing more in the trunk. We've taken everything from there. On this shelf was the uh, was this water faucet handle, which I still haven't figured out what to do with. No idea how to operate that and with what.
We're obviously supposed to be able to use it for something. So it's a useful item. We just haven't figured out how we could potentially use it. I think I tried it with every sink that I could find. There is only really the one in the kitchen. And uh and then the one in the bathroom upstairs where the weight room is. You can't reach that and there's really nothing there either. One thing I could try again is uh, getting access to the pool without the water in it. We have a finite amount of time to do what it is you need to do there before the uh, nuclear reactor in the house blows to smithereens. Uh, we can try some stuff out. It's just a save here and we have a point where we can go back to we'll use save number f now we need two kits for this one of them needs to be down in the basement next to the water valve And the other one needs to be at the pool, so we can go in while the pool is drained. In we go. It doesn't want the chair. There's a drain here. Oh, if you push this button, I can, uh, it's fun, fun and games. Push the red button and uh, the house explodes. <laughs> the house and everyone within a five mile radius have been destroyed in a massive nuclear meltdown. Well, it's the end of the game, but uh, it's a uh, victory or not. Perhaps not. Depend on the roll of the, the roll of the dice. That would be the next game. We would have to wheel it, but uh, I don't think we're anywhere close to being done with this one yet. No, I didn't beat it. I just blew up everything, which is easy to do. It's a sort of a way to lose it very quickly.
don't think you can actually do anything with this terrain. I'm not sure you can actually do anything here. That's a... A worth disaster by a... Cooling the roads again. So, okay, one potential idea is to uh, give the blood of the world to the plant, but uh, that would mean either being able to get the blood off the wall somehow, or being able to take the plant down here. Do you know what that pulsing sound is? It's actually the clock. I'm just being a dunce. I thought it was just random noise, electrical noise, but it's not. It's the clock. <laughs> I, I think uh, Eldred was trying to point it out to me earlier. I didn't understand what he was saying. I get it now. I'm sorry. <laughs> now I... I don't know. It seems like I'm just wondering here. I'm just uh, thinking out loud and walking and re-examining everything, trying to figure out whether there's something we haven't interacted with yet that we could potentially use. I'm indeed not blowing up the mansion. I've actually done that uh, twice. I, uh, there are multiple ways to do it. One way is to, uh, uh, if you cut the uh, circuit breaker downstairs, uh, and uh, then I'm actually. Uh, Being out of electricity means that the, the rods aren't cooling anymore and everything explodes. You can also, uh, you turn off the water valve for a very long time, they will get uh, overheated and explode. So that's two ways. The third way is uh, pushing that red button in the pool. I'm sure there are also other ways to do it. Oh, this. It seems like such a waste of time here. We found a key for the uh, for the machines, and uh, are able to open all of the coin boxes, and they're all empty. Now the green tentacle lives up here, we've uh, tried various tricks on him as well. I 
we've tried uh, I've tried giving him uh, a recording of a uh, the sound effects record which he likes a little bit and uh, I tried playing him the tentacle mating call which he didn't like at all so he killed us we've tried those two combinations This is the body building room. And that's the cock version. That is the hunk mounting machine that we used to uh, train ourselves up so we can open up the grate. The Here's the other sink. You think it is? Might be. There's nothing in here, at least. I suppose we could, um, suppose we could try clogging the toilet but I don't think we actually can because we can't interact with it I don't think we can no We can flush it though. Uh, this is basically all he says. We try to interact with the toilet itself. The faucets here. Can't interact with the faucets themselves over here. Can in the kitchen. So, uh, this water faucet handle is not supposed to be used here at least. This plant remains a mystery, as well as this hutch above it. Though I suppose the, uh, really just climbing up. Uh, it does look as though, as if though, uh, 
This is a different room. So how are we supposed to get there? You know we can uh, use the can of Pepsi on it. And it stops it wiggling around and then it's stopped. And it basically just keeps burping. That's how, that's how you do it, you use the uh, sponge in the pot. I think you can only do it once. Then what are you supposed to do? It grew a little bit. I want to try something out here. Can we do this before feeding it a Pepsi? Yes, we can. We can, yes. Okay, we can give it the Pepsi, stops it wiggling around, I suppose that's part of the puzzle. Uh, 
What else do we require? I was sort of hoping it would grow quite a bit more. What's the point of doing this? Why do well girls hang out in odd numbered groups? Because they can't even as if that one was actually not that bad. <laughs> that was not that bad. <laughs> We've seen worse. The one Ava got earlier was uh, significantly worse than this one.
trying something here taking the uh, developer fluid and uh, feeding it to the plant let's see what that does if we can at all we might not be able to do it yeah you did You did kill it. Doesn't get us any closer to getting to that hut, though. Uh, did work, just uh, didn't give us the result we wanted. Problem is, I'm almost certain that uh, we're missing some ingredients in the sponge that we're supposed to be able to uh, use. We can only use the sponge once, so we need to have the correct mix of ingredients in the sponge before we attempt this. Now there are some more things that uh, we could potentially use with the sponge, but um, and not that many, and uh, I think we've tried almost all of them. That is the... There's the radioactive goo downstairs and the radioactive goo in the swimming pool as well. Plot is at least off limits. So we can't use it with the broken bottles of ketchup either I think I've tried it with the fruit drinks that does not work Let's go back down here. So, and wisely so. It makes perfect sense. Just uh, trying whether this was an option. Okay. Yeah, there's endless references to uh, having gas of some sort in this game. I don't think you're ever going to find any. 
uh, the references are uh, are many. There's the chainsaw. There's the rocket engine in the car. Yeah, I don't think you can. Okay, let's go down to this room. It's been a while since we've been there. Where's Bernard? Okay, Blue Matter. Feel free to lurk. Feel free to give me some of that chicken as well. I could do with a with a midnight snack. This is a bit tricky. There is a light switch here. Just next to the there it is. Is there some way of I've been wondering about this for a while now because I find it very odd that you can walk here behind this machine out any reason Doesn't want to interact with the furnace, obviously. And there's the circuit breakers. I was sort of wondering if there was a way to mount the, um, the water faucet handle somewhere here in all of this, in all of these pipes. I can't see it anywhere. Can't uh, it's very hard to uh it's the same interface as Sigma Crack and you can't really uh can't really uh, examine with the mouse. You have to click on everything to activate it, so you can't just hover over it. So uh, sometimes makes finding things a little bit more difficult. Uh, I'm not sure. There's actually anything to do down here. And of course, there are these breakers over here. There's a little bit of pixel hunting, yes. Which is a uh, sort of uh, difficult with this system. Kind of curious if uh, just to try it out.
Let's uh, give the key to Wendy. I'm gonna send her downstairs to uh, to hand the key over to Dave. And then I'm going to send her back to the basement. Well, there are two things we can do to uh, affect the nuclear reactor in any way. One of them is the circuit breaker. And the other is the cooling here. So I'm still wondering what happens if we, uh, we do this. And turn off the breakers at the same time. Turn down the alarm. Someone shut the power off, yes, we have. I should have saved. Let's set this up again. Needs a little planning. Everybody needs to be in the correct place. Guess she can stay there. Dave goes down here. I think I tried this already, but I'm going to try it again anyway. Even with the power out, we can't open the furnace. And I'm fairly sure that even if we uh, turn on the water valve, Still can't open the furnace. No.
I think we're all gonna die because the power is still out, I believe. Yeah, Bernard has the key. He can't go down because he has the key. Eventually the house will just blow up. Which is bad. So I'm wondering how this helps me. What does cutting the power off help us do? What can possibly be achieved with the power off that uh, can't think of anything really. I still remain somewhat convinced there's actually something behind here yes orange jesus please shine your shiny pokemon blessings of brumatar playing pokemon okay so at least the um, the water faucet has to, has nothing to do with that place. No, it's just a random clip from a... From your stream. But, uh, it does try to pick a relatively recent one. Wow.
I failed to see how we could actually use this in any way. Where is there a water faucet that we could use this handle with? Or is this item perhaps just to screw with us? Send Bernard upstairs for a little light snooping around there as well. Oh, we can't do anything with this piano. Tried that to death. There's nothing. I'm fairly sure in the room with a painting. Most convinced there's absolutely nothing to do there. I remain very unsure about this room. It's all very weird. I tried whether we could use the arcade machines while the power was uh, or the circuit breakers were cut downstairs. That is not the case. Sort of wondering if we should uh, take another peek at the old lady's room. We're gonna get caught, but uh, doesn't much matter. We can simply save before venturing in there and uh, do a few runs. We're nowhere closer to solving the riddle as to how to read the combination to the safe, though. It's still a mystery to us. So many puzzles to, to solve, so few hints as to how to do it. Uh, every time you think you've cracked a puzzle, like with the plant earlier, uh, the game sort of disappoints you by uh, having another element of the puzzle that you need to solve as so, well. So even when you think you've solved it, you've only solved half of it. I think I already uh, tried venturing down there when the uh, when we uh, when the power was cut that didn't seem to change anything even if the power is cut, you can still see us. So, uh, doesn't really even give us more time or anything. So that doesn't, that isn't a factor.
There isn't really a, a lot of stuff in this room. It's just the uh, that bad the mirror. Which is cracked and uh, he doesn't want anything to do with that phone on the nightstand, which uh, we don't really need. Obviously, if we get in here before she gets here, there's nothing in this nightstand. It doesn't open, there's nothing in it. There was a key here on top, which uh, unlocked the arcade machine. This is the uh, this is the room above. There's that safe staring us in the face, but uh, with no clue as to. actually open it except for the combination that's uh, apparently written on the wall but uh, we can't read it since the print is so tiny double checking this wall again for anything that we might have missed uh, as i suspected that's not the case now the combination is scrolled here or some combination or another is scrolled here on the wall but too tiny to read. <sighs> Flashlight does not help. Nor really should it. Now we need this combination to open this safe. That's obvious. Can we use this cassette tape in this radio? No. We can't. Don't have to go through this scene, we gained nothing. <laughs> yeah, this is a tough little cracker of a game. For every step forward, it uh. Hey there 48 k Ram, welcome in. For every step forward, we seem to go a step back. So, uh... Now oh, shucks. The 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 aiming on this game is a little little tricky. Having I mean, it's nice, you know, you can shoot in all four directions. 
Thanks for shouting out for the 8k RAM. We should uh, go give him a follow. I watched him last night. Uh, time to repair on Atari 400XL. Always fun to watch these troubleshooting and repair streams. I like the games, but uh, the uh, technical stuff is uh, great as well. I did eventually get the TCP socket code working. But uh, alas, uh, it's a little bit out of sync. It does work though. Both directions with odd and even bytes. The problem with the odd bytes is that uh, you need to do a CSE calculation of the TCP header and uh, it's done using shorts, so it needs two bytes. So when there's an odd byte, you need to put an extra byte for the calculation and then drop it from the packet. It's a bit of an, bit of an odd way to do it, but uh, it works. You basically just put it for the sake of calculation and nothing else. Most of these protocols were uh, were designed to be uh, optimal to do in assembly on the PTP-11, which is not necessarily uh, something that is nice to do in a, in a higher level language like C. Okay. Turn on the faucet again. Let me turn it off. Again. I was thinking maybe you could feed it this blood, but I don't see how we could possibly get it off the wall. Yeah, I was thinking maybe we should uh, give the plant some blood to allow it to grow some more, but uh, for that I need to be able to remove the blood and he doesn't want to touch it. None of them do, I tried it with all of the kids, none of them want to touch the blood on the wall. So although it's a... Uh, Yeah, uh, zero hands for now at least. No, I can't move the plant in any way. And, uh, I can feed it the, uh, I can give it some water, which uh, enables it to grow. It's uh, grown quite a bit now. And uh, I can give it a Pepsi, which will uh, stop it twitching about and uh, make it burp forever. Although I'm unsure how that helps me. I'm pretty, cool, pretty sure that uh, we are supposed to give it the Pepsi, but I'm also pretty sure the... Um, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to grow some more because uh, there's a hut here above. And... Uh, I'm somewhat convinced we're, use, we're supposed to uh, climb the plant to reach the hut, but uh, we're missing the final ingredient to this puzzle. One of them was the sponge with the water in it. One of them is the can of Pepsi to stop it twitching around so we can climb it. But uh, what's the third one? I tried giving it the developer fluid that uh, obviously killed it, which uh, didn't help us at all.
And, uh, for a man, supposedly man-eating plant, he uh, seems rather calm. Now we can't give anything to the plant, but uh, we can, however, uh, interact with a pot. I just don't see what we could potentially use. I've tried the... Um, I just have the water and uh, then I have the... the fruit juice or the fruit drinks. Doesn't want any of them. And... Uh, I tried the uh, developer fluid, that killed it, obviously. And, uh, if I use the kind of Pepsi, uh, that does sort of work. But, uh, what it actually does is uh, it stops it fidgeting, fidgeting around like this. But uh, it doesn't make it grow any further than it already has. That's basically the extent of uh, liquids that I do have. Don't have any more of them. I'm also fairly sure I'm supposed to use the uh, development liquid to develop the film. The problem is I don't know how and I have no way of... Uh, Getting to that information at this moment in time. I deliberately made a save here before we um, attempted any of this. I think I already tried this little trick. If we, uh, I don't think it also, I don't think it, uh, I don't think the order matters. So I don't think it matters if we give it the, um, I don't think it matters if we give it the Pepsi before we, uh, before we put the sponge in. Yeah, I figured uh, that basically uh, if you don't 
I figured that basically if you if you screw up the plant and you're screwed. And, uh, I think the uh, one of the ways that you can soft lock yourself is uh, by not having some of these ingredients. But, uh, what worries me a little bit is whether I'm actually currently soft locked. Whether there's something we've done so far that uh, makes it impossible for us to solve this particular puzzle because, uh, that's what you worry about no i don't think we are i've th been extraordinarily careful trying to place strategic saves in uh, in places where i'm up using up items that i can't get back for example like the can of pepsi that's a uh, once you've used the can of Pepsi, you know, there is no going back. There is the, it's the same with the paint remover. You can only use it once. But the uh, the game is nice enough to warn you about it. Warman Conga, welcome in. I burned my Hawaiian pizza last night. I must use Aloha setting. What on earth could we possibly be missing? Okay, so we are soft locked right now. So we're supposed to put something in the sponge. I think I've already tried basically everything I could find in the house with the sponge. Miss Mummy. Yeah, that's what I thought, but uh, you can't. I tried that earlier. Maybe I need to... It's possible I need to boil the water in the microwave first before I put it in a sponge. Wondering if that works. I haven't tried that particular combination. I uh, filling the jar, putting it in the microwave, and uh, Turn on the microwave. Boom. Oh. 
This game can be very slow sometimes. Oh, we can't. It's still too hot. Can't use it while it's too hot. So we can't use the sponge with the water to clean up the blood. I have no idea why, but uh, we can't. It's cool down now. Uh, doesn't change anything. I tried this uh, with all of the kids as well, in case one of them was squeamish and didn't want to touch the blood, which was uh, definitely something that needed to be considered at least. Now I'm going to ask for a hint here, do I have everything I need to solve the flower puzzle? Do I have every item that I need? Or am I missing an item? I'm missing an item, okay. This is actually one of the tougher puzzle games I've, uh, or point and clicks that I've played. Might even be tougher than Sack. We have the, uh, a bunch of various, various keys here. We finished Sack a bit ago, four streams ago. We have the uh, portable radio, some batteries, uh, the water faucet handle, some undeveloped film, the sponge, a glass jar, uh, some tentacle chow, the fruit drinks, the canned goods, the uh, roast, the turkey, the can of Pepsi, the cheese, the lettuce, the time and the manuscript, a paintbrush, an old record, some cassette tape, the chainsaw, flashlight and the key. Oh, there are multiple ways to softlock yourself in Sack. You can, for example, leave Mars. There's no way of getting back if you do that. I think we softlocked ourselves in a few different ways, actually, when we were playing it. Yeah, there are, there are definitely, there is more than one way of doing it. And uh, you, 
Yeah. You can't really... Well, you, you can only win the lottery three times, but uh, you can win it three times. So you can have $30,000 worth of... Uh, worth of money so uh, you would need to do a lot of traveling to to uh spend all of that So that's perhaps the most difficult way to uh, to soft lock yourself, but uh, of course it's possible. You can uh, you travel around endlessly. You end up with uh, yeah, the lottery in Saka is such that uh, you do need to cheat. Now a thing that I've actually used and uh, can't get back is the bowl of fruits. Is that the item that I need? So if that's the item that I need, then I'm screwed. And, uh, there's also the uh, the stamp from the package. I don't have that anymore. If I need that, I'm also screwed. Now we've tried opening and pushing this piano and this bench forever and ever. That doesn't do anything. These are the guys that publish anything. Doesn't really help us. We have a manuscript, but... Um, yeah, thanks for the help for the AKRAM. Please feel free to lurk at any time. Twitch functions of lurkers. Yeah. I'll take it in a, in a bit. I'll uh, wander about for a bit more. Now this is the medical cabinet. We haven't been able to open that still. Don't have the key for it. These I don't think we do. Let me just make absolutely sure. We do have a lot of keys. Oh, none of them work. It doesn't interact with this in any way. It can't open, push or pull this examination table. 
nothing else on it we already opened up this desk and took what was there then there's the arcade machines I have the key to open them, I found them in the uh, old lady's bedroom. You better not stop my Jira. Now, there's nothing in any of these boxes. I checked that. I do have the tools. I don't think we're supposed to use them. And, uh, all of the machines are basically off. I can't see any way of turning them on. Not sure this actually serves a purpose. <laughs> the problem with the uh, most of these games is that you have lots of items and lots of things you can interact with, which uh, really do very little. And there's the... Uh, the file drawers over here which we have not been able to open can't operate anything in here because we don't know how to develop the film the film we do have but the ways of developing it we don't now we already tried calling the intergalactic police and uh, that's all fine and dandy but uh, they can't get through the inner door we already opened the outer door This is where we found the yellow key. I think we already tried opening up, pushing and pulling this speaker. I don't actually think we need any of these. Although I'm pretty sure we need the kind of Pepsi. Thank you. 
We can give all of this to him. And uh, he will drink from the glass jar, but... Uh, I'm pretty sure we can't give anything to him that uh, we actually need to use at any point. I don't think we need to really worry about that. This doesn't have a response even. He doesn't want it, it makes him burn. Yeah, that's right. We already tried playing in the uh The demo tape, and uh, if we try to play in the mating call, he he kills us. Well, that's nice. I don't think we can interact with him in any other way, but uh, I don't think there's any damage in giving him any of these items that are just clogging up the inventory. I never thought a chiropractor would improve my posture, but I stand corrected. <laughs> Which is the fastest grow growing city in the world? Dublin. Dublin every five minutes. <laughs> the terribleness of these jokes. <laughs> and yet I laugh. I don't know. I don't know why you keep doing this to yourselves. You keep using this. Ah uh, ha ha, there's a water faucet over here. Mm. 
Eureka. <laughs> For a good time. Seven five three seven. Let's go call seven five three seven. See where it leads us. That's not easy to spot, guys. <laughs> I've been in, in that bathroom like five times already, and I hadn't spotted that pixel. The I went to that bathroom multiple times to find ways to try to use this faucet. No, I, I think I already fixed the. Uh, I think I already fixed the phone in here. I might not have in this save if I haven't. We need to uh, go back to it. that be hello who's there is this a prank phone call this is sound like a prank phone call there's no heavy breathing here let me show you how to do it uh, I think we'll be scarred for life How does this actually help us in any way? It's a funny joke, but uh, what does it help us achieve? Making a safe here. Doesn't change this scene in any perceivable way. I went to the pet shop and I bought 12 bees. The shopkeeper gave me 13. I said, You've given me one too many. He said, The last one was a freebie. <laughs> That's a terrible joke. Okay. We might.
Okay, the radio is just for uh, calling the intergalactic police. The we have two doors, that are a safe and a door that we want to open. We might as well try this uh, this uh, number combination on the safe upstairs. We'll send burnout in there. That's not a combination. At least not to this one. Okay. So get Bernard out of here. You can at least go up the store without uh, pushing the car coil, so that isn't the problem. to see you again. This is basically just a way to sneak out of this room. That's all it is. Yeah, it's not hot when you have the key. This is just an easier way. But, uh, potentially, uh, if he managed to empty the safe, it might also be the only way of escaping with the loot. So we would need to solve it for that purpose. But uh, it doesn't... Sadly, it doesn't solve the puzzle that we're struggling with right now.
forgotten what it was that I was going to do down there. Ah yes, I remember now. I was going to check whether the combination of the safe or of the inner door was maybe 7537. That's what I was going to check. seems very unlikely but I'm going to check it anyway the door is locked and I don't have the key Because Bernard has the key. Yeah, Jira and the uh, Confluence aren't the most great, aren't the greatest products on the world to administer. The not decently good to use. Seven five three seven. The door is still locked. Okay. Yeah, I have, we have Confluence and, uh, and Chira as well. I actually have a, I have a separate Confluence instance just for my department. We use it for mostly all documentation. It's actually, uh, it's a pretty great wiki. Very easy to use and uh, very easy to, uh, to add stuff to the editor. Uh, no, not today. It's, uh, not open directly to the outside at all, it's uh, fairly closed down. It's uh, hard to access, it's basically on a department server, it's only accessible by us. But I was aware that uh, you do need to patch it now. Okay. So this is just to get out of this room. Fine. Is there anything else in that bathroom that helps us in any perceivable way to do anything? Or is this the only function?
Now, if only we could get a plant in here, perhaps. That would be nice. At least we know what to do with a water faucet. A yet meteor wants to borrow your hamster, an electric cattle prod. My hamster, nobody touches my hamster. Better watch it that you're going to piss off the meteor. It already thinks you stole my purple keycard. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I can't get to the meteor without it. Oh, really? Shape up, kid. Okay, that's a new cutscene. That we haven't seen before so something is changing in the game at this point in time probably because we solved this puzzle so because we solved it there's some additional progress in the game or to talk to him I don't know why he's so incredibly hostile to us. You are on your side, you butt munch. We've been nothing but nice to you, and you throw us in a cell. It's not very nice. Oh. We really can't do anything here, basically stuck in our tracks. I don't think there's a way out of this scene without being caught. So he wants us to develop the film. Which is great. But uh, we can't because we don't know how. The tray is here with the developer fluid in it. 
And uh, there are all the tools of the trade. There's an Elatius here and a red light. But uh, alas. I'm not fast. Thanks for the sub for the 8k run. Welcome to the sub club. Ah, Gleason, thanks for gifting us up to 48k RAM. Welcome in. Yeah, thanks, Gleason, for all your generosity. 17 subs gifted. We moved ahead a little bit with this game tonight, but uh, the going is very slow. Uh, you should go give Gleason a follow, Idol Champions and uh, Heroes of Might and Magic and other goodies. Yeah, hi, welcome in. We basically uh, sold one puzzle or two puzzles tonight and are have part of another one sold. I've figured that uh, you can give the man-eating plant on the upper floor. Some uh, water from the sponge, which uh, does sort of work. Not fully, doesn't grow enough for us to be able to reach the hatch above it. But, uh, we can give it a kind of Pepsi. I'm not sure we're supposed to do that. I was thinking we could uh, somehow get this blood. Another cutscene. I guess the power's out. Yes, it is. No, you can't give it the water from the jar. Yeah, good night, Eva. Thanks for coming. Thanks for moderating. And, uh, thanks for the chat. You sleep well. Okay, so the... Uh... <laughs> that kitchen looks like yours after you cook something. <laughs> I hope you have band-aid. The game is moving forward in some way now. He was in the arcade room, figured there was no power there. Thanks for the follow, Scottish Serenity, welcome in. Now, I wonder if he's going to do something about the lack of power for the arcade machines. Uh, let me look that up again. He is called Glenn something.
So this is an Amiga 4000 T running this game at the moment. I've had an Amiga now for a long time, 28 years or so. I was wondering why my machine was struggling like this. I know what that is. I left Wireshark running, so it's uh, it's been capturing pockets now for uh, a bit. Now, was he going to do something about the games? I sold my 500 when I got my 4000 desktop at the time, but uh, I still have my 4000 desktop as well, it's uh, broken. And then I have this tower, and I have a Revision 3 A500 as well, and I'm uh, putting together a Revision 5 A500, which is uh, basically a plus. It's been, it's a, uh, it's one of those ports that uh, never made it into a plus when Commodore ran out of uh, Amiga 500 ports just before Christmas and uh, they uh, basically downgraded them to put them into a regular A500 and uh, it's been upgraded so it's an A500 plus port but uh, it has never had a clock or battery which is uh, why it's still operational. Uh, I have some new cases coming from the Indiegogo project I'm going to puzzle together. Uh, Puzzle together a, a new box with a red case and, a, and a, some new keycaps as well. Okay. Now we have some options of using these arcade machines. I'm going to make a quick save here. We only have one time. It seems as though, uh, although we just solved this puzzle and didn't seem to actually get us anywhere, that uh, it uh, somehow unlocked the game. Yeah, you can get... Uh, they're working on this keycap project now, you would be able to get new keycaps. Yeah, I have an A500 board, uh, keyboard that is uh, fairly yellowed as well. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I, uh, I'm going to uh, try to puzzle together a keyboard that is very similar to the one that Amiga Bill uses, which is uh, sort of a CT32 style. It has a mix of uh, black and gray. Going to use that with the uh, with the red case that I have coming for the A500 Plus. Red case and a uh, gray and black keyboard. Yeah, that could be because they used a, a different uh, fire retardant in the plastic. That might be why it's yellowing. Uh, it probably does yellow, but not as quickly. The, the bromide uh, in the fire retardant seems to have a major effect. Uh, I don't mind a bit of yellowing, it's uh, not really a big problem for me. Uh, the keyboard I'm using with this machine, which is uh, eight years old, actually. I don't know how old it is, but it's much, much older than this machine. It's probably 87 or so. It's, uh, it's actually a mechanical Amiga 2000 keyboard with, uh, with two Commodore keys, or Commodore and Amiga key, and... Uh, it's one of the high-tech ones that uh, were part of the original Omega 2000 launch. It, uh, still works absolutely fine. But, uh, obviously it's a bit yellowed. Uh, oddly 
not so much the keycaps but uh, definitely the case surrounding them uh, it's just such a good keyboard okay the game works now Now, we did find a key to open all of them. I wonder... Is there a coin in any of them? At least this has definitely changed for the better. Okay, all of them are empty. Okay, that's still the issue. There is still no power. Okay. So he said he was going to go fix it. But he hasn't yet. Okay. So there's a, probably a cutscene that uh, we have not seen. I wonder where he is. Is he downstairs? Checking whether there is any change in any of the rooms. A small miracle that it started up. It isn't the... Uh, takes it a fair while as well. It's pretty heavy. There's Bernard. This is still very much locked. Yeah, there is definitely that. I've given some thought of migrating our little uh, standalone server to the cloud as well. Okay, good night, Gleaser. Thanks for stopping by. And thanks for gifting us up. 248k RAM. You sleep well. Have an excellent rest of the night.
Yeah, I will have to migrate at some point. I was aware of that, but uh, the problem is that uh, I've written some custom extensions for it, which uh, read some stuff from the local file system on the machine, which will be tough to migrate. It uh, it's doing stuff, as they say. Well, those private extensions won't be available in the cloud, so I'll have to figure out some way of solving that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, most of us have a real life doing something else. This is, uh, to most people, just a hobby. A fun one, but uh, still a hobby. Yeah, that's basically it. Yeah. The problem with our extensions is that uh, they're largely written by ourselves, so uh, there is no one to blame but us. It occurs to me, I have an idea, I have an idea, what about the I wires in the Arctic, can I fix the wires with the tools, is that why the arcade cabinets aren't coming on? Yeah, the problem is that uh, when you're all, when you're administrating your own stuff and you're your own user in a way, that uh, becomes a slightly more difficult problem. Can we fix this wiring? No. We can't. It was an idea. Nope. Okay, so the whole point of this is just to charge the batteries a little bit. <laughs> no, <laughs> he's not much of an electrician. Okay, so that's not why. That's not why. Good, now to mine. Okay, it's on, but there's no power. What are we supposed to do? Mm.
Okay, if we send if we want these here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Detroit is obviously about a. Uh... That is, of course. There are, of course, these circuit breakers down here. The, I think I already tried this, but I'm going to try it again. Just in case it's different now that the game has uh, moved forward in a way. If I... Uh, turn these off. Switch to Bernard. No, that does not help at all. Get out of there. Get out of there. Stop messing about. Up the stairs with you. Okay. That doesn't do anything. Do any of them actually work? No, none of them work. So, even though he was here earlier, it apparently doesn't plan on fixing this anytime soon. All of them are empty. We do have a time to play the games, but uh, obviously that doesn't really work if all the machines are off.
Now we'll uh, fry ourselves. Especially nice to uh, put the uh, unprotected, I assume, 110 volt circuit to good use with a wet sponge. That would probably be very nice. Uh, putting it into the jar of water as well. Connecting it to the canned goods. Electrifying the can of Pepsi. Let us enjoy some electricity. Basically, just using it with everything I can think of. Every item in the inventory. Probably supposed to probably supposed to be able to. remove these at some point Boards won't budge. You can interact with it, which uh, does suggest that maybe you're supposed to be able to open it at some point. But uh, what we really need to do is to be able to. Might as well save it here. Going to this we can do. We knew this already. This is the worst junk I've ever read. Yeah. I get that we are supposed to um, send this manuscript out, but um, Don't have a stamp. The mailbox is right outside, but uh, we don't have a stamp.
it will publish anything to 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 skyscraper way don't forget the stamp Looks like blood on the walls, but uh, not something you can interact with. I don't have the stamp singular, it's on the package. If I need it, I need to go back. And by if I'm soft locked, I need to know. It's a singular, there was just one stamp on the pack. Uh, I have no way of gluing it to the manuscript either. It's Wendy, that's the uh, the putting writer in the group. possible that uh, she was supposed to use the manuscript with the typewriter just go up there to see if we can still do it uh, still doesn't solve the problem of how on earth we can yeah there was only one stop on the stamp of the package anyway That's much better. This is great stuff. The whole world should see it, yeah. Now we need some stamps. Okay, she's fixed the manuscript. That's probably what she's supposed to do. So obviously we would then need the stamps, which I have no idea where are. They could be anywhere in the house. We still haven't been able to uh, access some of the cabinets.
doesn't say that we need anything else, but uh, obviously we do. Okay. Okay. Then I need to go back quite a bit of a way and uh, redo some of this stuff. Might as well. Before ending the stream. It does explicitly say that uh, does explicitly say that you need to stamp. haven't given him the package, that's for sure. So, uh, this save, we still have a chance to... Where's the light again? Here. There's the light. Down we go. Down the hatch, as they say. So. To this bit. I need this to be able to open the grate. I still don't have the ingredients I need to be able to get further here. I'm on a bit, quite a bit further back in the game. But, uh, it would really not take us all that long to get back up to speed. Probably finish that before going to bed. Uh, largely when you know what to do these uh, puzzles don't really take all that long I'm very happy that I used multiple saves I did that on purpose now we can open the grating Easy peasy. Yeah, I really don't uh, want to continue for hours more just to find out that uh, we're still soft locked in some weird way. There's that jar of water and serenading in the microwave. I 
What's the package? That's basically our queue. We need to run. Uncancelled, it says. Okay. Give stamps to Wendy. Give. Manuscript to Wendy. Let us see. We can go up there and uh, take care of this. We're in no particular hurry, really. So Bernard is somehow able to get other stamps. He's the only one that can use the tools. So he's somehow able to get stamps using the tools. Doesn't really spoil very much because we have no idea what you could potentially use for that. if she uh, needs to go and uh, watch the blurb on TV possible I haven't broken the vase in this variation of the safe That's one of the problems. They don't stick. I didn't try that with any everything, so uh, there are some options here. There's obviously the gravy here. Yeah. 
the obvious solution was to use the sponge but uh, that does in fact not work so we're gonna pick up the bottle of developer now so Go down to the basement and uh, fetch it, put it in the sponge. You could also try uh, dipping the uh, stamps into the developer fluid. That's one way. Upstairs, put the developer fluid in the uh, in the little tray. I'm pretty much certain that uh, that's what we're supposed to do. Although we still can't develop anything. Yeah. Now it's there, we can send Wendy up, see if she can uh, I didn't do anything. That doesn't work. That's that sticky. Yeah. Doesn't want to touch that stuff. So that's out of the out of the picture. Yeah, good night, Eldridge. Thanks for the help. Okay, I guess we can solve that little puzzle. Need to get her downstairs to mess with the water valve while at least I have the stamps, so we're not locked in. Center down here. I'm 
and uh, we'll send Bernard in as well uh, and let him stand by the uh, by the entrance where the gargoyle is it's funny that the film isn't here at the start of the game so one of the things I noticed when I was redoing this due to the partition crash to go get the faucet the, the film just suddenly appears outside after you do something it isn't there until that point Might as well head down here Might as well here anyway There's a key here And a few sparks, which we still haven't really figured out a way to use. We haven't done the chandelier either. We need to do that now. It's actually simple enough. Go in here. Put the cassette tape in the, the recorder, turn it on, put the mating call record on the Victrola, turn that on. Turn it off again, turn the tape recorder off. Pick up the tape. See it's uh, broken the vase that was on the table. And if we now take it downstairs to the other radio, it will break the chandelier. Took me a while to figure this puzzle out. None of this is particularly simple. So these are all fun puzzles. We'll break the chandelier and uh, give us an additional key that we didn't have before. Hey okay, there, Texas Rusbuller. Yeah, that's right. It's only Bernard that can do this. It's the only one that can take the tube out. That's the key to the dungeon. Oh, that's been found. Let's, uh, go and uh, go to the pool. We have all the keys that we need to access the pool at this point. Might say when we get there, since uh, it's a little bit time sensitive. Yet, I forget which key opens this one. I think it's the silver one. Yeah, it is. So we need to be here. Might as well go and get the tools first. Oh, my God. 
Hey, there's DJ Psych Egan 1. Video game? DJ Psych Egan 1, DJ Psych Egan 1. Let me give you a shout out here. Oh, what's going on with those missiles? Come on, dude. These missiles are garbage. It's the shot back now. You should go give him a follow. He plays a lot of uh, arcade stuff. He has a lot of arcade PCBs. Pretty cool stuff. Plays some absolute classics over there and uh, also just a fun streamer. Yeah, it does try to uh, it does try to pick a recent clip. And yeah, I'm still struggling with this game. E.T. Video game? Thanks for the bits, guys. Classic art. Some people say it's the game that uh, caused a video game crash. I'm not sure it actually is, but uh, it got a lot of blame. Now, we need these. We need the radio. Not much else. Let's get out of the pool. Swap to Wendy again. Fix the water valve. Swap to Dave again. Redoing a bit. I didn't. Uh, I forgot to get the stamps from the package, and uh, there was some doubt as to whether I was soft locked or not. So I decided to uh, decided to go back. And uh, redo it just in case. I really don't want to get locked here. We've made a little bit of progress. We solved a few puzzles tonight, but uh, overall the going is fairly slow. That's who we're trying to save. Being chased around by the purple tentacle. <laughs> this is bad. So basically now we're just redoing the puzzles that we know the solutions to, uh, which are a few, but uh, still not enough. Took me a long time to figure this one out because I didn't see this pixel here. That's where we get the number 7537, which we can call to get out of that room. Although. Suppose we can try this now. Have Bernard come up here. Thanks for the sub. Teach your cycle and one. Welcome to the sub club. Enjoy your uh, single emote and uh, art reviewing. And my forever gratitude. Ah, uh, Texas Fussballer, thanks for gifting us up to teach us like I'm one. A 
let's see he's going to need to repair the phone downstairs so he's going to need the tools and uh I'll send Bernard downstairs and uh We'll send him downstairs to a prank call the lady of the house, see if we can uh, sneak by without her noticing, as opposed to supposed to be able to do that. Get this key, which is to the um, arcade cabinet, and uh, sneak up here. Where was the light again? There it is. Of course we can't read this number. And of course we're not lucky enough that it's actually the same number. Nope. Guess we call her again. Yeah, it's him again. Let's get out of here. Very, very quickly. Okay. Did we escape? Yeah, I think we did. Yeah, we did. Okay. We still have to give smaller his package. Let's uh, save before doing so in case we Minus to screw that up. My commando package. I have to find my plans. I lost them somewhere. Yeah, we know this. So, the film, containing the, uh, the plants, is out in the yard. Huh. 
However, even if we do have the developer fluid already in the development tray, there's the undeveloped film, which we need. But uh, that alone is not enough. Rather annoyingly. And this is, I believe, basically where we currently are stuck. I think we can't get any further than this tonight. We've replayed the game. The only puzzle that we know uh, an additional partial solution to is the man-eating plant upstairs that uh, just below that hatch um, I've tried giving it some water from the sponge which uh, does make it grow a little bit but probably not as much as we want it to grow so we're missing some bit of that puzzle as well Just making sure that uh, we've finished everything that else here for continuing to save the game. Wrapping it up for the night. It's been a chunky stream, 3 hours, 40 minutes or so, give or take. I think we basically have everything, including the key to the arcade machines. Might as well open them, although for some reason they're all powered off. And we seem to have no way of powering them on again. This we can do, and then we can go downstairs and um, open the the outer door of the of the dungeon. We have the key for that. Yeah, I'll say. Hey there, Amiga Kami, welcome in. Funnily enough, uh, I think there might actually be two of you in here right now that have arcade machines in your uh, in your home. <laughs> DJ Psycho M1 and you, and potentially more actually. So, <laughs> does he have the old rusty key? Yeah, he does. The light switch, there it is. But, uh, if you had the chance, 48k RAM, would you like to have one in your home? This is really the question. Yet, Meteor wants to borrow your hamster and electric cattle prod. Nobody touches my hamster. Better watch it, you're gonna piss off the meteor. One of these things, you stole my purple key card, which you probably did, but uh, where is it? 
don't know what you're talking about. I can't get to the meteor without it. Oh really? Shape up kid. Okay. Okay, not basically in the same position in the game as you were earlier. Yeah, there we go, There's, so there are three of you in here that have arcade cabinets in their home. <laughs> that's 33%, uh, that's probably a good percentage for a, for a stream. This is a good place to park things, I believe. Let's see who's on. Yeah, thanks for coming in for the 8K Ram, and thanks for the help as well. Maybe even a little too much. We'll uh, get... Maybe get cracking with this again next Wednesday. I'm, uh... I'm wondering if, uh... Wondering if I should take part in the, uh... In the Twitch boycott to, uh... Protect against the hate raids. There's a ongoing community effort to, uh... Try to make uh, Twitch do a little bit more to uh, prevent these sort of attacks on people. It's been a pretty nasty business for some streamers in the last f few weeks. Yeah, I can. Uh, I have a week to think about it, maybe two. Yeah, there have been these incidents where uh, a group of people that. Uh, are rating a channel just to hate on the broadcaster and the chat and uh, there is some talk of uh, doing a boycott on uh, September 1st to try to get Twitch to uh, pay a little bit more attention to this problem I do think they're actually trying to do their best to solve it but uh, they could pot probably be doing more though yeah it's a uh, Sometimes a very weird world that we live in. I think I'm going to send you over to Legion's Arcade. He's a... Uh... Playing Dark Souls 3. Join me for the rate if you can, guys. We'll go hit him up. Uh, Friday is a uh, betrayal of Gondor continuation, and uh, Saturday, Might and Magic, obviously. Until then, guys. Later. Thanks for coming. Thanks for all the cheers and subs and. Uh, the various love tonight, it's very appreciated guys, good night.